Hello there guys and welcome back to another update video with myself Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the update on Thursday the 20th of October. Now there isn't a great deal coming in terms of today's update but we do have a lot of updates for stuff that will be coming in the forced wipe on the 3rd of November. So the main thing that is coming this week in terms of the actual game that we're going to see going live is new muzzle flash on all weapons plus changes to the sounds on the MP5. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to run through the muzzle flash on most of the weapons in game. I'm going to do some shots aiming down sight and some shots where I am hip firing. I'm doing this at night so that you can see it a lot clearer because you can't see it too great in the day. So that is it in terms of what is coming this week on the main branch. Obviously we do still have a few hours to go before the update hits. So we still may get some extra things added in. Now I'm going to jump on over to the pre-release branch. And I'm going to talk you through another couple of things. And I'm going to show you a couple more things. So next up we will be taking a look at the component system again. So as you will notice here when I'm looking at the item list. We now have some new items added once again. We have the metal blade, the metal pipe, the rifle body and the SMG body. Now all of these components can now start being found from barrels over on the pre-release branch. So if you are going to test the component system, you can now start looking for things. If you just load up the crafting menu here, you will now notice that with some weapons and lower end stuff such as the water pipe shotgun, and a double barrel shotgun they now require metal pipes so it is slowly being integrated in now the component system is expected to be done for the november the third wipe so that is the first wipe of the month when we get our major content patch and we get everything wiping so we should be expecting the component system then and now next we're going to be moving on over to caves. Now they have managed to fix the problem with water spawning within the caves. So now we can actually explore them. Now just note that if there are any extreme drops or I fall into any pits that would typically kill you. I do have god mode on. So if you notice that I'm not taking damage. Probably 90% of the drops that I may take in here will kill you. So just be mindful of that that I have god mode enabled. Thank you. 
So we now have as well these little mining nodes within the cave system that you can come down here and pick up. So there's an additional reason to be coming into the caves other than just looking around and trying to build a base in one. As you can see there, we now also have some parkour stuff added within the cave so that we do need to jump around a bit. It's not just going to be easy to traverse these caves, especially when there are other players around you. And here we have a slightly larger one. And here you can build a 3x3. Three three. This will also go too high. Then back to another small one. And then this is back to the original small one. So as you can see, there's a lot more work going into caves. And much like the component system, this should be ready for the wipe and big update patch at the start of November, which will be the 3rd of November. So now aside from this stuff which I have already shown you, we also have some updates with the workshop stuff that Gary has been working on. Now as we all know, Rustified have good connections with the development team, so this is going to be from information that they have gathered. So Gary is working on workshop stuff which is to integrate the game a lot more with Steam. It is supposedly also going to be good for faster porting over to consoles in the future. So that does kind of give you an outline that hopefully Rust will eventually be available on consoles. And it's also making it easier to add new skins into the game. To my knowledge, we also should hopefully be able to get better achievements and such stuff like that from better integration with Steam through the workshop. Gary has added in some new clothing items including a tank top, collared shirt and shorts. He's also added a couple of other things, so hopefully when this goes live, which also should be November the 3rd in the big content patch of November, we will be getting some new clothing and hopefully they will add even more between now and then. And then the last thing is that Damien has been working on the dungeon art branch and he's added in the new shipping containers which he mentioned in last week's dev blog. The containers are higher quality than the ones that we currently have and some of them will be open so you will be able to go in there to look for loot to get yourself cover and just have a look what's inside so that is all from me today then guys i hope you have enjoyed if you have then make sure you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content then make sure you subscribe i know i promised that i would be doing some first look at caves and first look at the component system when i did my update video last week but i have been pretty busy since then and I will be doing my best to get this up for you this weekend or some point next week. So just keep holding tight for that because it will be coming soon and it will be good content. Thank you very much guys. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.